What is it all inspired by this campaign? It's really about stepping up Toronto's game and, and it comes from a confidence that, that's in Toronto. I think there's a new uh, Toronto swagger that we're trying to capture and, and when people feel it here, the Toronto sign, uh, everything we've seen with, with Drake and the Raptors and the Blue Jays and, and the music coming out of Toronto, mm -hmm. we're, we're tapping into something that I'm not sure we could have done this seven or eight years ago, but now there's a new sense of pride in Toronto and people want to share their city, they want to talk about it and we've tried to capture um, both what resonates with residents but most importantly something that's going to speak to potential visitors and show them the excitement uh, of Toronto. Let's talk about the title, Views from... Well, this is all about showing how things look cool in Toronto and we see things in a different way. So it's the, it's the two sides of the views. It's what you see when you're here, but then also we have a unique perspective here. And I think people are looking for that kind of inclusiveness and progressiveness. And um, it's not just enough to have cool stuff. There's got to be a feel to the place. And that's what we've tried to capture. You hit on inclusivity and progressiveness. Uh, we're looking at an interesting political climate now south of the border as well. Um, New York is actually seeing a downturn in their tourism possibly anti-Trump sentiment, that sort of thing. Is Toronto looking to capitalize on that? Well, this is who we are. This is Toronto's DNA at its core, is this, this sense of everybody's welcome here. And it's always been that way. So this is not something that's in response to a particular set of circumstances for this month or, or a particular period. It was true five years ago. It'll be true five years from now. Um, some of the latest conditions have obviously brought it into sharper relief. So that, that distinction is even more um, is, is more visible now and magnified than it's been in a long time but it's also it's always been there and this is who we are so we've now decided to lean into that and and show what makes Toronto a special place um, when someone watches this video what is the one thing you want them to walk away with excitement you know a vibrancy on the street that um, that there's something different about Toronto it's not just a big global city it's Toronto's big global city this isn't about the list of stuff. This isn't about all the things you can do when you're here. It's about creating a feeling. And, and Toronto is Canada's downtown. It's not just a big global city, it's Canada's big global city. And it's part of this amazing country. Uh, but it's not just Canada, it's the city, that, that big city experience of Canada. And that balance, that you know, straddling those two lines, that's the magic of Toronto. Yeah, Canada's downtown, that is the one piece of criticism that some people are coming about saying, well, all these other cities, why can't they be Canada's downtown? Why should Toronto be considered Canada's downtown? Well, this is where this is where you'll find the only NBA team, the only Major League Baseball team. It's the National Stock Exchange is here. The, the national media is based here. This is Canada's center of entertainment, innovation, culture, all those things. There are wonderful cities and, and regions across the country. And what we're excited about is the opportunity to invite international visitors who will come not just to one city, but they'll start in Toronto, because this is where a lot of the planes fly, and then hopefully explore west, north, east. There's so many opportunities here in Canada. And what you're seeing in this new campaign is Toronto really embracing Canada in a way we haven't done before. So mm -hmm. that's a big shift for us, and, and we're so proud to be part of Canada and proud to be the biggest city and the most visited destination in Canada. Great. Lastly for you, let's talk about the campaign and how it's being rolled out. Where is it beginning? Um, what other elements are going to be launched? Well, this is going to be a global campaign. Uh, it's starting in the U.S. and we're launching in five cities right now in New York, Boston, Chicago, Washington and L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't stop there. It, it's just uh, where we start. And uh, uh, it's, again, this is, this is about defining what Toronto is. And it's as relevant in other parts of Canada as it is in the U.S., as it is in some of our key global markets like Mexico and China. So we're excited to tell this story. We're so excited to tell Toronto's story. Yeah. More videos to come, more, more ads. We've got more videos to come, more digital ads. There's a whole suite right now. It's all built around this, the views are different here video. That's the main piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you'll see more that, that celebrate the arts and culture, that celebrate the diversity, that celebrate the food. Uh, and what we hope is that it sparks a conversation. I think yeah. Toronto, we've seen that already today. Toronto really wants to share this story and we're excited for where that goes. Good. Mostly online or is it going to be different platforms? No, this is an online campaign. So all you'll online. see it all online. Uh, and we have an opportunity to target people. So we know people that are looking at food, looking at music, looking at arts and culture. Uh, and then we can match the videos they see with what we know they're interested in. So it gives us a great opportunity and, and we're excited. We're very optimistic about the, the potential out of Mexico this year. Uh, it was a very strong market for Canada and for Toronto. That changed in about 2009 with the, with the visa requirement on Mexican travelers, but that rule is gone now. So mm -hmm. Mexicans can travel to Canada without a visa now as of December 1st. So that alone creates an opportunity. And then on top of that, you layer on some of the political circumstances where Mexicans may be looking to travel somewhere other than the U.S. this year. And we hope they'll find Canada and certainly Toronto is one of the options in Canada.